Okay, in this video I'm going to go ahead and basically uh, show you a la LastPass um, at LastPass.com. It's a password manager which basically allows you to only have to remember one password um, for all your passwords online, for your accounts like Amazon, Facebook and so on. Any passwords I actually remember are my LastPass password and my bank account information and my email password. Um, I made a secure password like my last pass, super password. Uh, so basically there's any passwords I remember. That's the data agenda on MDR tech. Okay, so go ahead and you head over to lastpass.com, click download, and once you've downloaded it, you'll see this little box up here in your browser. They do have uh, browser extensions for um, all the popular browsers out there, so it's cross-platform. Um, they do have an application for Mac and Windows, but I prefer to use the browser itself uh, to basically um, control my passwords. Um, they do have a paid version for only for um, mobile devices. Um, I, it's $12 a year. I do pay that because I do use this every day and I use it a lot on my iPad. Um, so I have mobile devices. I'll go ahead and show you how it works on an iPad a bit later on this screen here. Let's go ahead and basically show you how easy LastPass is to use. So once you've got it installed, head over to the website if you're joining for the first time or if you log into a website, um, it will say the password for you and you can change it. So basically what we're going to go ahead and demo changing and registering of a password in LastPass. So go ahead and we're going to join our members only area, MDR Tech. Not only a Patreon, um, you can go ahead and check the information out down below so you can see all the bonuses we offer our Patreon members at this website. Uh, information about that will be after this video. The link is down below. Let's go ahead and register. So we're going to go ahead and register for the first time at a new website. Uh, I have of course removed my password already um, to stop any confusion. Um, I've saved it away and I'll re-add it again later. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a temporary uh, account with an email. And as you can see, the difference you will get uh, is uh, here. You now see every time there's a password to fill in, you get this little box here. If you click that, um, and I also make sure that these are all checked, and that you have a password length minimum of 14, any more than that's probably a bit overkill, any less than that you're probably not going to get a really secure password. And um, basically you just keep tapping this button here until you get a password that fills up the entire box, or close to, something you're basically just happy with. Um, So I'm going to happy with that password. So I'm going to copy it for now just to make sure because sometimes the password always gets saved for whatever reason, like websites crash. So you need another password, you've still got it. Um, but you basically click use password and you click save site here. Um, so that with username, that's the password. Click save site. And I, of course, got it saved on my clipboard as well if I do need it, um, for, if it doesn't work um, for whatever reason. So B. We'll go ahead and fill out the rest of the form as you normal. So we should now basically have an account at this website. We'll go ahead and wait for the email to come to activate our account. Um, so if you join the website, you have to do this as well. So we'll go ahead and log out and we'll log back in with our uh, password regenerated with LastPass. As you can see now, we've got this uh, one symbol here uh, 
and you can edit the information stored here um, view the password which we had there um, never auto fill in require password prompt um, if you well, if it's definitely secure password website then make sure you click here um, but uh, basically you'll get a hang of all that sort of stuff if you have any questions about last passes post them over our support forums at the website we're on now and we'll be glad to help okay so once you've uh, basically made a password you click here click on the username click sign in and as you can see I've had no password I had to put it to my master password in at some point before I get access to the uh, a password um, and then just go ahead and change the password so um, we want to change the password um, I do this every now and again on all my passwords uh, just so uh, I keep my password secure um, you can go ahead and click here to get the password filled in or if you're not sure what a password is for a website and you've got it stored you can copy password here and username and just simply paste it in and so now we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same process again but by this time we are changing the password so we're going to and then it says um, you've generated a new password do you wish to change it for this site the answer to that is yes so it updated the record so now we need to actually click update password and as you'll see now we've now got the new password saved in our last pass vault um, you can share passwords in LastPass um, with like colleagues and stuff and never actually share the actual real password with them. Um, that's a useful thing to use LastPass for. I use that quite a lot um, here at MDR Tech to give out passwords to people that give the actual password and I can remove their access to it later. Uh, that's all stuff that we'll probably demonstrate later on in other LastPass videos if there's something that you guys want. Uh, more advanced features of LastPass. So it's also detected the password. Did you want to confirm it? Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and log out and re log back in. Um, as you can see, it's already filled information in for us, but we're not sure we can click that. And there you are, we've logged in and changed our password. So that's basically LastPass um, on a computer, and you can view all your passwords in your vault. Uh, here, these are all the passwords that I have stored in LastPass. Um, and then we'll go ahead and show you it on an iPad. Uh, so there's actually a LastPass app which you need on your iPad or iOS or Android device. Um, it also works with Touch ID, so if you're an Apple user, or have a, a fingerprint sensor you can log into your account that way um, as you can see here's the, the passwords uh, generated that you guys saw a second ago um, on my computer but a great thing about uh, this is there's actually an extension uh, for uh, um, Safari and so if I go to head over to the same website we were just using a second ago difficulty typing here on surface so let's go ahead and log in here okay so we click login um, and we can actually bring up the password um, on our iPad so if we go ahead and click the share button up here We'll actually see a LastPass extension. Um, there'll be video links down below on how you add extensions on uh, um, iPhone if you're not sure how to do that. But we'll cover that in this video now. 
and then there you are, we're logged into LastPass. And of course, if uh, if some reason it doesn't work and you need the password, you can get to the password via the LastPass app here. So just go ahead and we'll find the password uh, for And you can of course copy and paste like we did before the password. Uh, but like I use the password um, the way we did there, but there's the password you can copy. And then when you could obviously copy it back in the password field or whatever you wanted the password in that's basically a quick overview of LastPass um, all I would say is to make sure that you make a really secure password for LastPass um, mix a couple of things together with capital letters and numbers maybe write it down somewhere because if you do forget your LastPass password you basically um, could get locked out of your all your password accounts uh, but I do use LastPass on a regular basis to store my passwords. I have to remember all these complicated passwords and so on. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go and do, think and do more videos on LastPass, guys, because I think it could be something uh, you guys may be slightly confused here with how LastPass works. So we'll go ahead and do some more uh, videos on LastPass and probably go ahead and talk about it a bit here over at our support forum so stay tuned for that um, by the time this video is up um, I'll put some information about LastPass down here uh, so yeah that's basically an overview of LastPass I hope you enjoyed the video until next time if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all the videos we do here at MDR Tech and finally, MDR Tech is a crowdfunded YouTube channel and website via website patreon.com. I encourage you to go ahead and check that out as we give massive great bonuses to our Patreon community members. So if you're interested in becoming a Patreon, check out our Patreon page. Link is down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.